the labor chair, I will tell you the things that are very important to me this session. Uh, we're calling it a livable wage, right? It needs to be sustainable. Mentioned that we had about 76, 77% of the jobs back, but let us not forget that those jobs are back in the form of low wage jobs, which is creating a problem. People need to be able to go to work and make enough money on one job to sustain themselves and their families. So that's important. I think we need to keep that in mind when we bring forth this issue about minimum wage, livable wage, and how important that is to not just the economy, but to the well-being of families in the state of Connecticut. It was said earlier, we can do both. We can be business friendly and we can be family friendly. Because frankly, without families, we have no business. Um, the other thing that's very important, the pay equity, something that we've been working on for a while, bill that we introduced last year, passed in the House, died in the Senate. Um, we're bringing it back because, frankly, we feel like we need to put the main artery back in that bill. And we, ne we need to make it more than a feel-good bill. It needs to be something that is going to have an impact on the women who we are claiming to want to help in this bill. And last but not least, family paid medical leave. And if you ask me, all of these things go hand in hand. You really can't have one without the other if we're talking about moving this state forward. It's important, and I'll tell you the interesting thing that I learned. We were, um, yesterday morning, Congresswoman, De Congresswoman DeLauro and I and a couple of other folks were down at um, Claire's Cornucopia, which is a small business in New Haven that actually supports paid family medical leave because Claire realizes the importance of taking care of her employees, not just when they're well, but when they're sick, when their children are sick, their parents are sick, when there's something that takes them away from being able to do their job at their full capacity. So when you think about it, the thing that I learned that was interesting in my plight to dig into this is that I found out that a corporation like McDonald's who does business here actually does business in Europe. And guess what? In Europe, they have to pay their employees paid time. They get 22 days off for their first year in addition to that, they get another 13 days off for paid holidays. And after six years of flipping burgers at McDonald's, you get almost two months off between paid time and paid holidays. So my question to McDonald's corporations and others like them that are doing the business right in Europe, is it not fair to look at Americans in the same light? Because frankly, Americans have families too. So I think that we really need to stick together on these issues and make sure that when they come before the General Assembly and we're holding these public hearings and we're looking for support, that we have you guys and you have our backs because this, it's important that we get it done this year.